Gordon, 40 years since the original Halloween. It is back. Bigger and better than ever or not? What do you think? Well, fingers crossed. A, a great report so far from Toronto where it had its midnight screening and everyone was pretty much in unison that this is a really worthy follow-up to John Carpenter's 78 classic because we've had an awful lot of sequels, Lisa. I know. Not all of them particularly good. Some of them <laughs> tie themselves up in knots trying to get into the mythology. And for Jamie Lee Curtis, she's been on a worldwide tour to promote this movie. So she obviously, she has a very special connection to Halloween anyway. It was the is. film which launched her career. But for her to come back to this series after 40 years, now well, granted, I know she's been in a, in a couple of the sequels along the way, but for her to return to this film means an awful lot because what's happening in this one uh, is that they're bypassing all the sequels. That's right. So tell us about that because obviously I've seen the original, I've seen a few in between. I know she's been in many of the movies over the years, but this is a very different kind of take on the movie, isn't it? They cut it all out. Yeah, from it, I think th this seems to be a new trend in Hollywood whereby if the, if the sequels right. aren't working, it's almost like something from Dallas. Just pretend that didn't happen <laughs> and yeah. then we kind of move on. Right. Uh, we're seeing that with the new Terminator movie, for example, even though it's technically Terminator 6. They're currently shooting that. It will be Terminator 3. But anyway, with the likes of uh, Halloween, all the sequels didn't happen. So this is technically Halloween 2, right? This, that's what's happening. 40 years on, the big theme is trauma, yes. suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder. The idea that on that night, being hunted by this masked killer and the effect that it has on your life and your relationships with other people. And Jimmy's heard that she's still out for revenge. She is indeed. And I suppose when you see Jamie now, you know, she talks about the trauma and how important it, it is now. And obviously in the current climate, I suppose, for women as well, it's really important that this is addressed. Do you think that was actually part of the reason that Jamie got involved or not? Well, she's I, a feminist, a true, true feminist. Absolutely. I, I just think for her, she was really taken with um, the, the story and that it had layers to it and it wasn't just going to be your typical slice and dice slasher movie that it did have a, something a little extra right. and so and i think yet yeah, that theme of trauma was something that really wanted to drag her in and also when it comes to horror horror is like one of these genres where female empowerment is at its center mm. always think of who's normally the final uh, person that's left standing it's generally it, it is it's, it's the female character so you always have here the final girl and she is one of the all-time greats absolutely and of course she's prepared in this role this is the mm. whole idea is that she's ready for his his comeback yeah. and of course we met her on the red carpet in Dublin mm. which is really exciting so do you want to take a clip we'll see Jake Gyllenhaal had kind of an instrumental role in bringing this to the screen. Tell us about this because, of course, you love Jake. You're his um, godmother. Well, well kind you know. of. Tell us about that. How did he get the script to you? How did well, he convince he you to get do the script? Oh, he didn't have any convincing to do. So Jake uh, is a wonderful actor. I've known him since he was, you know, tiny, yeah, tiny, tiny. tiny. Yeah. Jake called me one day in June. I was on vacation with my husband, and he said, "Hey, my friend David, who I just worked with." Uh, and I had a really great experience, wants to talk to you about a Halloween movie. And uh, as I said, uh, the last thing I thought I'd be doing is another Halloween movie. And yet, because Jake's endorsement was so strong for David, I called David and David and I spoke and basically David sent it to me. I read it, I called him, I said, okay, and now I'm in Dublin. <laughs> it feels like that fast. So there you have it in action. I have to say, she's absolutely fantastic. Oh, I love her. I think she's an amazing actress. She's and amazing. we'll get to see more of her in the new series. Of course we do. Yes, we are back. Mm -hmm. Season three. Make sure you stay tuned. 9 p.m. Friday, October the 19th on Virgin Media 2. See you then.